Glory to God, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being part of this family. We are celebrating the goodness of the Lord. And I hope you are smiling because God is good all the time. If this is your first time here, welcome. I pray that the same God who has ordered your steps to this family will make sure that every desire of your heart is granted in the mighty name of Jesus. This is my prayer. In this message, family, God says your table of celebration is set. And when God speaks like that, you better believe and be ready to receive. This is what the Bible says in Luke chapter 14 and verse 17, in Psalm 23 verse 5, the word of God is active, sharper than two-edged sword, and there's no situation that God cannot change. He is a protocol breaker. Already in this week, I've received so many testimonies. Yesterday, I received a testimony from a sister and Cancer has bowed to Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning before I started with this video, I had a message from another sister that stagnation has bowed to Jesus. He is a protocol breaker. Hallelujah. He will change your situation. Do not cry. Do not bow down. You lift your head up and fix your eyes on Jesus because he can change that situation anytime. There's nothing too difficult for him. And he says, your table of celebration is set. Whether the enemy likes it or not, you will sit on that table of celebration this year. Be ready to receive. Be expectant. This is the time and this is the season of your celebration. That table is ready. The shame and disgrace you've seen in the past is not going to repeat itself this year. You are celebrating. Whether it's for the first time or you have celebrated before, it doesn't matter. Just expect a miracle to come your way this year. You won't be left behind. We are moving forward because the power of the Holy Spirit is ahead of us. Hallelujah. God is holding your hand and is making sure that you sit on that table. The enemy is not going to toast you to and from, pushing you away from your blessing. You will sit and you will test the goodness of the Lord in this land of the living this year by fire, by force. Whether the enemy likes it or not, you will sit there and you will celebrate. Everyone will know that you've been calling upon the name of the Lord. The glory of God will shine on your life so much that darkness won't comprehend it. Our God is the protocol breaker. What is cancer? It is a name and it has bowed to the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. Let every other name other than the name of Jesus bow down to the name that is above all names. And that name is Jesus Christ. Jesus is inviting you to that table, a table of celebration. You've cried enough. God says that table is ready. Come and rejoice. Hallelujah. You have to see it with the eyes of faith. Everything in the kingdom of God is by faith. Do not count yourself out. The blessing of the Lord is for you as well. It's not only for certain people. You qualify. God has qualified you through the cross of Calvary. A way out has been made for you. God is merciful. This is the time that you celebrate. This is the time that everyone will see that you are called by the name of the Lord. You are not just being a Christian by name. That shame and disgrace is removed in the name of Jesus Christ because of what the word of God says. Let's look at Luke chapter 14 and verse 17. Let's see what the Lord is saying. And the Bible says, at the time of the banquet, he sent his servant to tell those who had been invited, come for everything is now ready. Hallelujah. The word of God will not change. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And when he says the banquet is ready, it is ready. And the word of God can be shared in a simple way like this and look like it's nothing because the Bible says the word of God is foolishness to those who are ignorant. But it is power to those who receive it. Hallelujah. 
to you who receives the word of God, this is power. This is life. This is your miracle right here. This is the celebration God is talking about. Because from one word from the Lord comes out everything you desire. It gives birth to that miracle you are expecting, that breakthrough, that answer. Every single lady, every single man in this family expect this year to get married. You will sit on that table of celebration this year in the name of Jesus. You have been delayed too much. You are lagging behind, but God is giving you speed and you will be first instead of last. The Bible says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And he's giving you that supernatural strength, supernatural ability. If you haven't been seen before, you are being located in the name of Jesus. You are getting that push because the supernatural hand of God is upon your destiny. Things you never knew possible you begin to do this year. Your table of celebration is set. And when God says that, you better believe. I've mentioned that before. I don't want you to count yourself out. Things are happening already. Those who take God upon his word and place their faith on it, they will see the mighty hand of God in their lives this year. This is not an ordinary year. You are being decorated in the mighty name of Jesus. You can only invite people to the dining table when food is ready. And Jesus is inviting you because that table is full. That table has your answer on it. You are going to sit there. If you look at Psalm 23, verse 5, it says, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. It overflows with blessings. Hallelujah. In the presence of your enemies, you sit on that table of celebration. God protects you. The Lord is giving you that anointing power to overcome anything, any arrow that may be thrown at you while you are eating on that table. You will eat in peace. You will celebrate in peace. You will rejoice. And all those who are jealous and the witches hunting your destiny will be brought to shame in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He has promised that you will never fail. I received an email this week. And this sister was complaining and complaining, so bitter towards God that I've been praying, I've been fasting, and nothing is happening. I'm just thinking of giving up because this God says in his word that he will never abandon me nor forsake me, but I feel forsaken. I feel abandoned. God is not going to change because we are bitter, angry, and resentful. He's going to move in your situation if you use faith. So here, the enemy is just using you, pushing you away from your table. You should be celebrating this year. Refuse to be pushed to and from. That table of celebration is yours. And you will invite everyone. You will rejoice because the Lord has done it for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You should start celebrating. You see it by faith. You enter into that closet and dance. Put a praise song and celebrate because when God speaks, he does not lie. He cannot change his mind. He's not a human being to change his mind. In the spiritual realm, these things are already there. The answer you are looking for is already there. So don't gang up with the enemy. Don't be on the side of the enemy with discouragement and complaining throughout the day. Right now, be confessing what God has for you. He sees the beginning from the end. He has already seen that answer. That's why he's sending this word towards you to give you courage. And you are in this kingdom by faith. No one has seen God, but you believe he is there. Use the same faith to receive what God has for you. Ask, believe, and receive. Do not doubt. And all of you single ladies and single men, my brothers and sisters, this is your year. You will celebrate. You will sit on that table of celebration in the name of Jesus Christ. By fire, by force, you will receive what you have been desiring all this time. Delay is terminated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I sense the Spirit of God right now. You will come back and testify that 2022 was the year I celebrated. 
You will celebrate so much this year that the enemy will be infuriated and you'll be rejoicing. The protection of the Lord will be around you. You eat in peace. You won't be harassed anymore. And let me tell you that God is not going to say on this table, I've placed your promotion, your husband is here or your wife is here, your health, finances, peace, love and joy, good health is here. He's not going to do that. You are the one who is going to choose because he has given you the will. He has given you faith. Mm? You have faith now. You have the word of God. What are you believing God for? What is on that table is what you are asking God for. You've been praying. You've been crying. Don't cry and pray without expectation. This is dangerous. Expect God to change your situation, to bring that miracle because he's ready. Let your faith fill up that table with good things because you receive only when you believe. If you stop on asking only, that is not good enough. I know some of you are just asking, 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 but you don't push yourself to believe more and receive. Don't limit God this year. He says he has anointed your head and your cup runneth over with blessings. And some of you now are like, that's not me. That's you. Whatever it is right now, the anointing power of the Holy Spirit flowing from your head to the rest of your body is breaking every yoke. Stagnation is breaking right now because of the anointing power of the Spirit of God upon your head. Your life runneth over with blessings. Everything about you is going to catch life. Those dry bones will live again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Cancer has bowed to Jesus. Stagnation today bowed to Jesus. This sister woke up and didn't even know that it was going to be today. She woke up, something that she has been looking for all this time, applied, and the friend was accepted. Hers didn't even receive an answer, but she kept on praying. You don't know when God will come through for you. Keep going. Keep on pressing on because he has the right time for you. And when he starts with you, hey, you'll be like, oh, this is too much. Oh, this is too much. God, you are indeed a protocol breaker. But I know you are not going to say, God, stop, stop, stop. Let it come. Overflowing blessings. Yes. Keep on bringing more blessings, Lord. And with that, you can reach out to others. Your life will be overflowing with joy. And this is the will of God. So keep on pushing. Do not remove yourself from that list that God is talking about. You have been invited to this table and he says it is set. Let your faith bless all the things that you are looking for on that table. You will rejoice. No witch from anywhere is going to harass you because the power of God is more powerful than witches in any village. Whoever is enchanting against your life, they will see you celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ. And this is the year you will celebrate. Start confessing the word of God. Start confessing what you want to see this year. You want to get married? This is the year I'm getting married. This year I'm getting promoted. And my business is increasing and expanding on every angle. I'm breaking forth. I'm breaking through good news every single day. Even when you don't even see any good news, continue speaking the word of God. Continue confessing what God has spoken over your life. With sadness, you receive a disappointment. It's not time now to get swallowed in discouragement and you don't even pray anymore. Some of you have gotten angry. In this family, you've gotten angry. You are so angry right now with God, maybe even with me, because I've been sharing God is going to answer your prayers. You keep on pushing, keep on moving, keep on going, and nothing is happening. And you send me emails of bitterness, and this God does not answer. He's not going to be moved because you are crying. Too many people are crying in this world because life is not easy. But he says, cast your burdens upon him. Even when you have a bad day, dust yourself off. It does not help to stay and remain in that valley. Even down there, he's with you. He is able to lift you up until you stand on the mountaintop. 
there's a reason why David wrote Psalm 23. And in this message, we are focusing on verse 5. There's a reason. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Hallelujah. He knew that his table of celebration was surrounded by enemies. Hmm? In 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9, the Bible says, A big and effectual door has been opened but there are many adversaries. Your breakthrough is right here, but you are surrounded by those who don't want you to go higher in life. This is life. You don't know where they are. They are there. You keep on moving. You keep on staying on that prayer altar. Your defender is God himself. He will defend you. He will make sure that shame and disgrace doesn't come your way. Forget the dreams you are having right now. God is in control. Don't be obsessed by dreams. The Holy Spirit is real. He's the one who is helping you to get those dreams. If it's prophetic dreams, God is the one who is showing you what is coming ahead. You depend on him. Trust in him. You will sit on that table of celebration. This year, you will celebrate. You will dance. If you have never danced before, you will jump up and down. You will say, I will dance and thou dance, and thou dance like David danced. You will jump because of the goodness of the Lord. But remember, he's good even right now. Wherever you are, he's good all the time. God is telling you that in the middle of all this, you will celebrate. You might think that your case is helpless. There's nothing wasted with God. No time wasted. He can reverse anything at any time. He works outside time. And some of you here, you will be engaged this year. You will get married this year. You will be married this year with your godly husband, not any other fake ones that you've received in the past. You will be like, I didn't know that men like this still exist. The love of God will overwhelm your life. Hallelujah. Even in that marriage where you are being manipulated, where you are being mocked and disgraced, and tormented. God is able to change that situation. He's a faithful father. Keep moving and keep trusting him. He's always faithful. Is there anything too hard for God? No. There's nothing too difficult for him. Sometimes we get impatient and we want things on our own terms, but he knows what is best for you. Hallelujah. He knows what is best for you. Be grateful always. This is the message I had for you. I hope you've been encouraged and uh, you won't give up. Please don't give up because you have come a long way. And what you've been praying for is just right here. The table has been set. In that table, whether the enemy likes it or not, you will sit there. Everyone will see your celebration and they'll change their mind about you. Because God is your vindicator. Some of you have been told a lot of things. You've gone through so much. Being ridiculed and mocked, even by the people that you never knew would do something like that. And this is painful. But all that shame is being rolled away. That shame is being removed right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I can sense it in my spirit. You are being decorated right now. God is vindicating you and everyone who will see that your God is the real God. He did it for Elijah. He showed up at the right time. Hallelujah. Keep moving. Keep trusting God. He's faithful. He's able to polish your life. He's able to make anything out of you. Say, Lord, Take my life and do something great with it. Hallelujah. Fill me up until I overflow. In your presence, with my heaviness, with anything that I'm carrying right now, whatever is happening around my life, I want more of you. More of you, Lord. And God is going to humiliate anyone that is mocking your life. Anyone who thinks you are not going anywhere in life. Some of you are in that situation. God is on your case. As long as he's your father, he's not going to leave you nor forsake you. And if you are the one who sent that email and you are watching me right now, God cannot be mocked. The word of God will never return back to him without doing that which has purposed it in your life. So do not get swallowed up 
in questioning God. This is the enemy now pushing you away from that table. Hallelujah. Be careful. Remember that God will always be God. He does not change because the situation is tough. There's nothing too difficult for him. So rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet and this is your first time in this family, take time to do so because you are being part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Keep smiling. God is good all the time. And uh, keep commenting. If this video has been helpful, give it thumbs up. Watch other videos that I recommend at the end of this video. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.